good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen i thought we were gonna have an action figure surgery however i could not figure out a couple of the formulas that i want to work on so i f i apologize for that maybe we'll get that done for tomorrow's video because i tried my best to figure out the formula couldn't get it together and i really wanted to do a surgery and not an appointment so hopefully surgery will be posted tomorrow but today guys we do have some more leaks for us confirming two wwe elite action figure sets that i figured you guys would be very excited about now this news does to come to us from my man unstable 1047 christian over there he's an absolute boss so i do appreciate him for the news he not only has elite series 87 but also elite series 88 now a lot of these we already knew about like we had you know we've talked about the leaks we've talked about the things to come we've talked about all of those things so seeing them here it is nice to see again that we have validity that we have confirmation that we know what we're talking about when we report on these things in the in the first place so let's go ahead and dive in guys elite series 87 putting it up on the screen here you will see that we have Candice LeRae, Santos Escobar, Otis, Asuka, Apollo, and Braun Strowman. Now I don't think just yet we have the collector's edition, but we do know that the Chase variant is going to be Apollo. Now I'm sure that just like other collector's editions, we do know that the flashback or the collector's edition, I'm sorry, will be a flashback figure. That's usually how these things work. Now overall thoughts on the set, I'm not really feeling it. You know, it's not the best set ever. I think it's cool that we're getting Candice LeRae finally. I think it's awesome that we're getting a set. Santos Escobar. Not, you know, not the priority number one figure on my list, but, you know, it is cool to see him here. The rest of them we have seen before, but Candice LeRae, we already know what her figure looks like. We've seen a render image of it for a while now. I know people have colored it in, made it look really nice. People have made customs of Candice LeRae that look absolutely fantastic, so I think we got some good stuff brewing for the Candice LeRae. Hopefully her figure will be just as good. When we get it in hand, we get the review in here and we see what's going on. Now, Santos Escobar, I'm sure he'll come with the updated NXT Cruiserweight Championship. He'll probably come in a nice attire. I'm sure that it'll be a good formula. He'll probably have the Angel Garza torso more than likely. If they were doing things right, he'll probably have the... He might have the Sin Cara torso that we haven't seen in a little bit. But outside of those two guys, not too much to the set. I do think we are going to get two first-time-in-the-line title belts in this series. I think we'll get the NXT Cruiserweight Championship, and then we'll also get the United States Championship with Apollo. But Otis will be shirtless. We've covered that many times. You guys know we've seen a basic of that figure. So I think Otis will be a shirtless. He'll probably come with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Outside of that, we also have Asuka. So this is a first set in a while. I feel like we've had two women's figures in the line. Am I wrong about that? I feel like we haven't seen two women in the same elite line. Nothing's coming to my brain. I'm sure it's been done before, but nothing's coming immediately to my brain when I think about that. But Asuka should be the uh, Money in the Bank. She'll probably come with possibly both the Raw Women's Championship and the Women's Money in the Bank. But we do know that the Elite 85 Becky Lynch is doing that same thing. So I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. I would guarantee she comes with the Money in the Bank briefcase, though. Apollo Crews, it's going to be bald Apollo, longer beard. I think it's going to be his green attire and then his red attire for the Chase variant. We'll have to see about that. Don't know all of that exclusively. I am excited to see a new Apollo head sculpt. I know we've had the same Apollo since, what, Elite 49? That was a really long time ago, so seeing him 40 series later, I think it was about time that he gets a new figure. I think that Apollo, I like Apollo. It's, you know, it's not the most exciting figure ever, but seeing the first time U.S. title get in there and seeing an updated Apollo might be pretty nice for our collections. And then lastly in the set, we have Braun Strowman, which we know is going to be bald Braun Strowman, probably come with a removable t-shirt. Maybe they'll redo some new legs on him. I doubt it, but we'll have to see about that. And then he'll obviously come with the Blue Universal Champion so that is what I'm thinking as far as Braun Strowman. So this set overall, kind of a weak set. Not that much looking forward to it. You guys can let me know who I should review first down in the comment section below when we finally get them in here. Of course, we do have a little bit. We have, you know, Elite 85, Elite 86, but it is nice to know what exactly we're getting with Elite 87, and that is the full wave. Again, I don't think I have any knowledge right now of the, of the collector's edition from this set, but if I get any more info or if I know it once I post this video, I'll put it in the pinned comment so you guys will know about that. But moving forward on to Elite Series 88, guys, looking at this for the first time here today, we we have a much better set. I think this is a really, really good set right here, so we're going to go ahead and get into it, guys. Pulling it up, you guys will see. We have Roman Reigns, Matt Riddle, Kushida. We, I think he was supposed to be in Elite Series 84, and then they ended up pushing him back to Elite 87, and now he's in Elite 88. I think that's the case. It may have been Elite 84 to 88. He may have never been in 87, or he may have never been in 84. I want to say he was 84, and then they pushed him back once, and then again. I don't know.
know about that, but we already have a render of what that's going to look like. I bet the attire probably changes by now. We may not end up getting that exact attire since he's worn other things and everything like that, but that is something to take note of. We also have Rey Mysterio, MVP, and Trish Stratus. Now, I know that we have reported on a lot of these things. We already knew we were getting pretty much all of these, given all the leaks, but seeing them come together in a unified set right here, Huge shout out to Unstable1047 again for the info. Now, Roman Reigns, okay, this is the time, man. This is the time. The Elite 84 was absolutely fantastic. It was the best Roman Reigns they've ever made. This is where they get it right and perfect. Now, I'm expecting a good, maybe a ponytail head sculpt pissed off and a longer hair version. Maybe we're going to finally get the back tattoo. Okay, if we, if we don't get a back tattoo... I'm just going to have to fight somebody, okay? I'm guessing that this thing will probably come with either... It might come with the Blue Universal Championship. I feel like it might. We'll just have to see and find out about that. But I know for a fact it'll have the back tattoo. That is absolutely the case. Maybe he'll come with the lay. You know, the red lay over the top there. He may come with a sleeveless hoodie. Maybe he'll come with a sleeveless t-shirt. He'll also come with his gold gauntlet. I know this is going to be the gold gauntlet attire. Has to be, right? I mean, I don't know how you'd get around to that. It'd have to include the gold gauntlet on the right arm and then all of the good accessories. This Roman Reigns should absolutely slap. Matt Riddle, we've talked about which Matt Riddles we hope it is. I would love to see the New York Yankee gear, but the last Elite he got was in white, so I'm guessing it'll probably be some other color, maybe his black gear. We'll have to see entirely what they end up doing for Matt Riddle, but if it's the same John Brown formula we got last time, I really don't want to see it, man. I really want to see a brand new formula. I don't know if they're going to do that. They gave him Kalisto arms, for Christ's sake. I don't want to see that. Maybe we'll get some new things going on with Matt Riddle. They have changed people people's formulas in the past. I'm not saying it's it's impossible. I'm just saying it's highly unlikely that we see something new with Matt Riddle. Hopefully it's a good attire. Maybe he'll come with a new jacket as well because that jacket was really nice. Slides, all of those good things that make us love Matt Riddle. Now he probably won't come with the U.S. Championship either, but maybe they could plug it in. They may be able to plug that in by the time this set comes out. Next up we have Kushida. Who the hell knows? Again, we already know what he looks like. We'll just have to see exactly. I would love to get the Marty McFly gear, but he just recently wore that, so I would highly doubt we'd get Get that full get up of the Marty McFly gear or the Back to the Future gear. I'm guessing it'll probably still be in his white trunks with the hoverboard graphics, which would be really, really damn sick anyways, which we saw in the render image. But I think the full Marty McFly gear would be cool. Next up, we have Rey Mysterio. Now, I'm not even going to get into Rey Mysterio besides maybe the eye for an eye match gear. That's the only gear that I can really recommend. And out of all of these figures, as far as the Chase variant is concerned, I hope it's MVP because they could do some really cool, like a throwback MVP and then a current. MVP. I'll get into that. Let's just move on here because I have some, I have a cool idea for MVP as we get into him here. So for MVP, I hope that he is the Chase variant and I hope they go current day Hurt Business like wrestling attire MVP and then with that figure they give us an interchangeable Elite 1 MVP with True Effects technology and then, stay with me, the Chase variant version would be the Chase variant version would be his debut attire or a throwback attire and it would still include that Elite 1 interchangeable head sculpt so they could just change some paint apps and stuff and it would fit both versions if you guys get what I'm saying so that would be really cool. I would love to see that. It'd be a callback to his Elite 1 figure. You'd get the interchangeability, and we'd get a Ruthless Aggression Elite. It would be very similar to the Elite 63 Shelton when they did the Gold Standard version of Shelton Benjamin. So that would be really cool to see for MVP. And then for Trish Stratus, I'm guessing it's going to be SummerSlam where she took on Charlotte. I could be wrong. It could be a flashback Trish Stratus, which I'd be okay with. We haven't seen a flashback of Trish in a really long time. So I'd be okay with that. However, I think that I think a more current Trish is more than likely because we did see her come back at SummerSlam Wrestle Charlotte. That's probably what we'll get, but it'll be a really nice figure. It'll be really nice to finally replace my Hall of Fame Trish that I've had forever, and it'll have double jointed arms. It'll have double jointed knees. That's another thing, guys. All these figures are going to have double jointed arms and knees, so in Elite 87, all those figures are going to have double jointed arms, or did they say they're going to try and integrate double jointed arms as we proceed? I, I want to say they said, like, Elite 86 and Ford, we're going to get double jointed arms. I guess we'll just have to see about that, which gets me excited for the future. See if they're interchangeable with single jointed. That's going to be another huge deal, but let me know down in the comment section below, guys. What do you think of Elite 87? What do you think of Elite 88? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. Who do you hope the chases are? What do you think about all of the different information we got here today, guys? Let me know. A huge shout out to Christian Unstable 1047. Again, guys, go check out his channel. He's the absolute best with the leaks. He's the best with the leaks and the, and the stuff, and the, I'm just going to shut the hell up and get into our random shout out. So this random shout out is going to go to L22R, L22R, who says, nah, you're hilarious. These videos could be announced 
hour long and I'd still I'd probably still watch and that means a lot to me man I really appreciate that so huge shout out to L22R for that random shout out here today really appreciate that guys but I'm getting the hell out of here guys thank you so very much for watching again hopefully surgery tomorrow if not tomorrow then I don't know what the hell to do with myself thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and uh you already know Brad don't cross the line you cross the line I've been